All right, welcome back to Fortner Industries. Today I have some of the um, things that I picked up from Tokyo on our recent trip there. And what I want to highlight today is these little capsules. So these are uh, Star Wars capsules. They're basically like those cheap vending machines that you see in grocery stores in the US sometimes, only on a much uh, better scale. So these are Death Stars, and then inside each of them, is some kind of ship. So they're about the size of micro machines, maybe a slightly larger scale, and then they come in a bunch of pieces and you assemble them into it kit. So I've already built this one here, it's the Millennium Falcon, and the idea being is the ball itself is the Death Star, and it has a little stand on the bottom and a post on the top, and you can stick the Millennium Falcon in here, and then pose it as you like. So then it stands up on top of the Death Star there. So I'm going to go and open the other three that I have here and we can take a look at how they're built. So let's start with this one. So you can see that each layer comes off and some of these I already started to open because I wanted to check and see what it, they were. So this one is an X-Wing fighter. You can see that these are made by Bandai. And it has a little uh, guide in here saying how each of the models is built. So the models in this series are a TIE Fighter, the Millennium Falcon, Y-Wing, X and an X-Wing. Uh, I'll get to this one. This one is, I think, a secret one, or maybe it's one from an older series. So I'll show this one at the end. As you can see, each layer has been, has uh, components in here. And simply take off a little injection molding. Oh, I see. And then each of the components are in here. And all of these are really, really well made. I've, I noticed that when I was building the Millennium Falcon. So that they have a, it's a term called pokey yolk. And it's, it basically means parts can only be installed one way. You can't mess them up. So they have these tiny little pins and certain little clocking features on there so you can only you know, assemble it the correct way which means then that they don't really need instructions because it's pretty self-explanatory. Death Star with an X-Wing on top. So I'm going to go through a time lapse of the next two of them and then I'll come back and talk about all four. So here are the four assembled uh, Bandai capsule Star Wars toys. As you can see, there's really just so much detail on them. I'm really, really happy with these. They were 500 yen a piece out of a vending machine. Um, you just put in 500 yen, turn the crank, so it's whatever you get is you get. I didn't pick these out. And I was just lucky enough not to get any duplicates. And uh, all pretty cool ones, I have to say. The other ones in the series 
are a Y-Wing and a AT-AT, -AT, are the only ones not shown here. So these were really, really fun. There was tons and tons and tons of capsule toys that we got. Um, they're pretty addictive and they were a great way to use up all the remaining yen that we had right before we left. Uh, but these were the four favorites that I had. Until next time, uh, thanks for watching and this is uh, Fortner Industries.